We got a uh, really nice, cool morning here in Georgia today. It's October the 1st, I believe. Um, it's been pretty hot. But I figured uh, I'd give it a chance this morning, see if uh, something's moving. I got a nice little grass area right here. I used to plant it in a food plot, but I haven't done it in a year or so. I got uh, a couple ground cams. I'm hoping to get some good footage. It's a little grass strip. It's kind of in between some hardwoods or on both sides of it. And they cross through it and eat on the little bit of tender grass as they're here. I'm looking for a doe this morning. I need some roasts and maybe possibly some jerky. Um, but you know me, as always, I got the uh, Magnus strapped to the end of my arrow. Um, this is the Black Hornet Razor four blade. Me, me, broadhead. Use lots of blood. Um, Put some down quick. I shot a buck opening weekend in a subdivision, and uh, it went maybe 30 yards. I had a, I got a two acre spot over there that I can hunt. So you got to put them down quick. Um, I'm actually shooting these um, carnivore arrows by Black Eagle. This will be my second hunt with them. Uh, worked fine last time. I mean, it was a straight pass through, double long, so I mean, wasn't like it hit nothing hard. And uh, hopefully we'll get the same thing today. But uh, they fly true, that's all I can say. But uh, let's uh, sit back, uh, let the woods wake up a little bit this morning and uh, see if something comes by. Hopefully I'll have some good video for you. Go ahead and knock this thing. All right. Let's see if uh, see if we can pull this off. Stay tuned. Well, there she is, boys. I'm hoping that where she was standing, was caught by that camera. She's laying right. Whew. Well, we had, uh, Four does come in this morning. Scarback was one of them. She's a doe that I've had some run-ins with before. Bounced an arrow off of her last year, off her back. She dropped at 30 yards and went right over her back, but put a cut on it, so now she got a little scar on her back. But it was her and she had two little ones with her. So I, even though I want that, <laughs> that nanny so bad, I'm not gonna shoot her when she's got two little ones with her. And one of them, I hope I got a video, or got her on video. 
looks like she's going to be a pie ball. Um, but anyway, another year and a half old doe come in with them. Uh, Scarback, being the smart nanny she is, eluded me again and took her little ones with her. She went on off the other side of the grass area over here. And uh, I watched this little year and a half old deer come in, or doe come in. She fed right along the edge through the stick stuff. And when she finally got out here, she she was going right in front of one of my other ground cameras. And when she smelt it, she jumped and she run back towards the woods and then turn around and come right out here in front of me at like flipping. Oh, dude, I don't know, what is it? From me to the arrow is Thirteen yards. So I figured I'd try to see what I could do. I dropped one in there. I think I got hit a little low. Must have got something right because she's laying right here behind the stand. Hmm. Anyway, she ran right there and she started wobbling. I tried to get the camera around and get on her. It's just too thick behind me. And then she just fell down right over there. So instead of messing anything up here, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get down. I'm gonna turn my cameras off on the ground, go back and review my footage just to make sure. Uh, looked like it could have been a heart shot, but if so, I don't wouldn't have thought she went that far. Maybe I caught bottom of the lungs. Uh, but we'll get down, we'll get some video on the ground, I guess, uh, or at least back when I get a hold of her put my hands on her. I may try to, she run through this thick stuff over here. I may try to find some blood trail over here, but if not, I'm just gonna walk right there where she's at. Maybe I'll back trail it. But let's, uh, let's get down, see what, uh, see what we can get. Uh, give me a few minutes. I wanna see something. Well, there's the arrow. Let's see. nasty I would like to say uh, one thing about this though um you happen to notice anything here at the end of my arrow yeah it's not on it didn't come on when I shot. That's the second deer these things have, have really pissed me off on. Sorry for the language. I mean. Arrow, broadhead. I mean, flawless. That daggum knot, I believe me and the owner of the sports shop is going to have a talk. Because that's the second one that has not worked properly. Uh, after he talked me into using them. But anyway, here's where he hit it. And it took off, it went this way. I'm gonna go right over yonder and uh, and get it. Like I said, it's just right there. I mean, I got blood right here. Um, I'm gonna put the camera up and show it here. Here's a leaf right here. I mean, got blood right here where I hit it um, and scattered out through there but like I said she just went right there so I'm gonna walk right over and get her we'll see if I get a picture too of some of the blood on the camera I've uh I've followed blood trail before with the with the video camera and uh, kind of makes people a little drunk when they try to watch it so I'll try to grab a few snapshots of it as I go and that way I can just add it in the video. <coughs> I did notice I was zoomed in too much on the camera and she stepped right out of frame when I shot, or right before I shot. So I didn't get the footage on this cam, but she was right in front of one of the ground cams. So I'm hoping that it picked it up pretty good. The sun's shining right in it, so it may not be the perfect video, but at least maybe I can, I can get a video of that. <coughs> like I said, Grab a few pictures. I'm gonna 
walk right over here and pick her up uh, and get the full of her stuff. Let's get a little video of at the site where she's at. Uh, hold on and we'll go get her. Look where I come out, man. Look at that. That would definitely be a heart. Tore the leg up. Cut the leg. Come right out in the dang armpit. If I had to say, I believe she's nice and heart shot. Oh my God at that hole. Look at that thing. That is a black hornet's razor. And that, <laughs> whoo Nelly. That's a hole, buddy. That is a massive hole. That deer was going nowhere. I want to get some pictures, but uh, yeah, I'd say that's pumping station right there. That's a, that is a mean broadhead. I'm telling you what, buddy. Boy, that's gonna make some good roast right there. Uh. You get the camera, get a little closer up for that. Show you. But, uh, Jesus. Let me tell you. That's why I love these broadheads, man. That's why I love them. That deer don't go far at all. And I mean, just take a look at that hole, man. Come on. That's flipping massive. Like I said, come out in the armpit, right here, got the opposite leg, that poor little girl wasn't going nowhere, I'm telling you, if you're looking for a broadhead to shoot, and you want something that flies true, just like a daggum field point out of your bow, uh, Magnus has them. They've, they've got several great broadheads. I was a big fan of the, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, of the buzz cuts. I'm actually wearing a buzz cut shirt too. Oh man, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just tore up on how, how big of a hole that thing put in it. But I was a big fan of the four blade buzz cuts and I shot them for years. I took all kinds of animals. You can check out my other videos. Um, everything from a, from a rattlesnake to a <laughs> squirrels, deer, it, just all kinds of animals. And they worked great and took everything. Well, Magnus came out with these black hornets last year and uh, I bought some, used them. I was happy with them. They worked great. I had a heck of a dang good shot. Matter of fact, it was in this same little food plot last year on a little spike and he bled like there was no tomorrow. This one right here, uh, same thing, shot in the same little food plot. I mean, it didn't make it, holy cow. I mean, honestly, to tell you the truth, I'll tell you what, I got my range finder right here. I don't know if I can get a clear shot to my tree. I can't, can't, can't see it, but it's 30 yards, I guess 30 yards to the dang food plot or grass area uh down quick uh i'll be back at the house here in a few minutes and i'll uh, open it up and we'll see what we got but like i said man that's a dude that's a big old hole that sucker is massive um the blood trail i'm gonna get some pictures i walked it down but uh when i can't watch those on when they're on youtube like that because they make me a little nauseous with all the jerking and movement, but I'll take some pictures of it. I mean, blind man can follow it. You're not gonna, you're not gonna lose a deer. Tracking job is, is very simple with these heads. These serrazor, these uh, black hornet serrazors, uh, they're my new, my new broadhead. Uh, I don't even think I'm gonna keep the other ones in there anymore. I'm just gonna load it up with these black hornets and and go with them. But anyway, uh, stay tuned. We'll get some. Uh, some video of what kind of carnage it did on the inside. I'm assuming 
where the hit's at and everything that we've got a exploded heart. So uh, like I said, stay tuned. We'll see what happens. All right, I know I said I wasn't gonna do this because it kind of um, makes people a little drunk or sick when they watch it because um, of the shaking of the camera. But these broadheads, dude, I'm so impressed with them. I mean, I love my buzz cuts, but these uh, these black hornet serrators, serrators are just mean. I mean, anyway. Um, let me show you there's my tree stand uh, right there kind of thick but that's it right there now I'm 18 yards from it, maybe. That's how that black hornet's razor does work. <laughs> 